everybody, my name is Lauren, this is Hugh, and welcome back to our online storytime series with the Langley Arts Council. And today we will be reading Federica, written and illustrated by local author and illustrator Scott Ritchie, with special permission from Groundwood Publishing. Let's get started. So the first thing I see is a frog eating a mouse, and I am super interested to find what happens in Federica. And then I see a raccoon eating soapy water. The plot thickens. Okay, here we go. Wow, this is a messy house. This looks like this looked like my house when I moved and I checked stuff everywhere. Let's do this. On the edge of a big city, in a medium-sized house, lived a little girl named Federica. Her mom and dad were always too busy to tidy up, so her house was a buggy, buzzy mess. Look at these bugs! Oh my gosh, these flies are giant! They're like soccer balls! To get away from all of it, Federica would go to the park where everything was peaceful. I totally know that feeling. I love going for a walk when my house is a little hectic. Oh my gosh, the dad is looking at a telescope! Dad, what are you looking at? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Federica loves spending time with all the creatures in the park. And one day, she had an idea. So we've got, it looks like dragonflies and spiders and frogs and raccoons. And there's sheep in her park. This is the coolest park ever. I love it. I wish there are sheep in my park. First, Federica asked the sheep and goats to come with her. Can my friends come in, she asked. They're a bit woolly. Her dad was busy trimming a tree into the shape of a donut. Her dad is the coolest. He's looking at a telescope and he's making a donut tree. Dad, if only you cleaned your house, you'd be the coolest dad ever. Uh-huh, he said. Federica led them into her bedroom. Bah. Federica ran back to the park to get some spiders and dragonflies. I think that's super awesome that Frederica thinks spiders are cool. I know a lot of us have arachnophobia and are afraid of spiders, but spiders are actually super helpful and really important for the ecosystem. So she was like, can my friends come in? They eat flies. Yes, they do. Although the flies in Frederica's house are like soccer ball size, so these, these spiders are really going to have a challenge. Of course, dear, said her mother. Federica led the way to her bedroom, the dragonfly zoomed ahead, and the spiders walked up the stairs on their long, thin legs. She closed the bedroom door. Um, Federica's mom seems like she's got like a lot going on, but I think she's holding the baby the wrong way. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that, okay? Federica talked to a toad and an owl. I have mice, she said, and they both followed her home. Hooped! Croak! That's nice, dear mom answered without looking up. At least now she's got a newspaper in her hands instead of the upside down baby. The owl swooped upstairs and settled on Federica's bedside lamp while the toad hopped into her hat and fell asleep. Look at this owl. Oh my gosh, Scott Ritchie is a fantastic illustrator. This looks beautiful. And that owl looks pretty excited to go find some mice to eat. Federica brought back some raccoons, or as I like to call them, trash pandas. My friends eat garbage, Federica called. Can they come in? Of course, dear, said Dad. I wonder if he's still working on the donut tree. <laughs> now the bedroom was full. Look at what she has here. Oh my gosh, she's got dragonflies, spiders, more spiders. She's got frogs, owls, raccoons, goats, sheep. I love it. Oh, and there's a, there's a mouse that's running. He's like, I'm about to get eaten. <laughs> Ah, uh, the bedroom was full, and it was time for the second part of her plan. I wonder what Federica's plan is. I'm interested to find out. Can we go to the park for a picnic? asked Federica. What a nice idea, said Mum, as she brushed a fly from the baby's nose. And I'm very happy to see that the baby is in a carrier now. You got this, Mum. And Mum is like multitasking like crazy. She's painting, she's reading newspapers, she's doing yoga. These are some of the busiest parents I've ever seen. And I know sometimes it's hard for parents to do all these things, but you know what? Other than the messy house, I'm thinking her parents are doing okay. Federica's mother packed blankets, nice, and games, love it, while her father prepared some food. Sandwiches. It doesn't say sandwiches, I'm just really hoping that he packs sandwiches. As soon as you hear the front door close, come out, whispered Federica. 
As soon as they heard the door close, the animals poured out of the bedroom and spread through the house. The sheep ran to the backyard to enjoy the long green grass, while the goats gobbled up the leaves on the carpet. Spiders started making webs. The toad hopped down the hall after a moth. The raccoons ate up the garbage and then started cleaning dishes. Federica is like Snow White and Cinderella all mixed up into one. If I had a bunch of animal companions that would clean my house for me, that would be the best day ever. And the whole time, the family enjoyed their day at the park. They're playing ball, they're going on the swings, they're playing with the baby, they're eating some snacks, they're going for a snooze, and Federica's reading. I wonder what book she might be reading. It was late, time to go home, with a beautiful sunset in the distance. Federica was so excited, she had to pull her hat down to distract herself. I know that feeling, you know, when you're so excited, it's like escaping from your body. Oh, she has a special surprise for her parents. Oh my gosh, they get home and the parents are like, what's going on? There's a raccoon in my kitchen, said mom. There's a sheep asleep in my jeep, said dad. But look, said Federica, everything had changed. The flies had gone, the carpet was cleaned, the grass was cut in the kitchen spotless. And look at these raccoons. They look like they've all been like caught, like right in the middle of like a bad deed. But it's like, these magic raccoons are cleaning your house. Like, no raccoons, you keep going. You are not in trouble at all. Oh, and there's a sheep sleeping in the jeep. I love it. Federica's plan had worked. A few days later, though, Federica realized that her friends might be better off back in their real home. Oh, poor daddy must have made the goat angry. Have you ever made a goat angry before and it starts, like, putting its head down and it looks like it's about to come after you? Federica's kind of second-guessing her plan. So they all went back to the park, and Federica visited them every day. That's fantastic. I know sometimes we meet animal friends outside. We want to take them home and keep them. But I think it's for the best that we let the owl and the frog and the sheep and the raccoons and the dragonflies all live outside in their natural habitat. Oh, this is brilliant. Federica would visit them every day, but not until family cleanup hour was done. And look, everybody's working together. The mom, the dad, Federica, even the baby. Family cleanup always goes by so much quicker when you work together, right? Oh, and you can see the little raccoon looking and saying, Federica, finish cleaning your house so that you can come out and play with us. And that's the end. There's Federica playing with a dragonfly. Magnificent! Thank you so much, Scott Ritchie. I absolutely loved Federica. I especially love that you see the family, they're just trying to do their best. You know, mom and dad are busy trying to raise two kids, and sometimes their house gets a little messy and gets a little bit chaotic. But I think Federica really used her, her intelligence and her ingenuity to really kind of solve the problem by using the resources she had. And then once the family was back on track, they really made sure to make it a priority to keep a safe, clean home for themselves, just like all the animals have their safe, clean home in the park in their own ecosystem, Federica and her family needed to have a really important, safe, clean home for themselves where they could feel good. And then anytime they want, they can go visit the animals and say hi, and come home making sure that they're keeping their space clean. I think sometimes we get a little bit busy and excited and preoccupied but that we forget to keep our own natural habitat safe and clean. But it's always important to keep your environment healthy. Thank you so much for joining us for Federica. What did you think, Hugh? Yeah, me too. Hugh loved the raccoons. I mean, Hugh doesn't actually love raccoons. He's a little scared of them. But he thought they were super awesome and he loved that they cleaned. Thank you so much for joining us. If you'd like to get your own copy of Federica by Scott Ritchie, you can find it on Amazon or you can check it out at your local library. I know I will be, and I think you will be too. Thank you so much. See you next time.